In this world, nightmares lurk. They hide in our neighborhoods, walk our streets, wear our faces. But they are not us. They are the world's best kept secret, and we are going to find them. Welcome to Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell. This story is true. It was told to me by the Kahalith Selby, and to her by Ithair Charna, and to him by Kahalith Radcliffe, and so on and so forth, back to the firstborn Skolis Ur, the Winter Wolf. Long ago, the world was but one paradise, on one land where all the creatures and spirits lived and hunted, watched over by the greatest of spirits, Father Wolf. They lived in balance, and one day, the time came for Father Wolf to rest, but it was his ban that he could not close his eyes until another warden took his place. All through Pangea, none could match his might but for his own children. We slayed our father so that he may rest, and he let out a death howl so thunderous that it sundered the land apart and all the spirits and animals hid in their dens. And when all that was done, the spirits and the men found themselves separated by the gauntlet of death, and only we, the Uratha, could pass. The spirits have feared us since that day, and the men have walked blind without the spirits to guide them. Our presence awakens, and in them the fear of the estranged spirits comes and it curses them with lunacy. So you see, my boy, that's why I can't give you a blowjob tonight, and you can't give me a blowjob tonight. And Charlie takes a big puff and exhales, and I really can't tell you how sad that makes me, kiddo, but it's just against the, the, the I guess, the traditions of my kind. What? Whoa. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm headbutting whatever wall I'm next to. Just thump, thump, thump. I think Darla's just like, well, thank God for that. For small miracles. I mean, I guess if it had to be addressed. <laughs> See, I, I was fully, I was waiting, I was... I was expecting us to be like waiting out in the living room very awkwardly, waiting for the act to complete, <laughs> and then we could get down to business. So, uh, Wolf uh, removes his lips from the bong. <coughs> oh, dude, totally chill. I get it. Like, I was raised Jewish, so, like, I got this thing about doing stuff on Saturdays. <laughs> okay, that's a fucking lie. I'm just lazy on Saturdays. No, I, I, uh, I get it, man. I really understand. No, dude, I get it, too. Like, I, I totally respect it. Thank you for the weed, at least. Oh, no, no and problem. And let me say, you're really hot. Oh, thank you. You're really hot, too. I mean... Thanks. I mean, I have to tell you, I, I'm not normally one for the husky type, but you know... Is this why we came I'm here? I'm a bear, what do you want? Is this why we're here? Is this what this... Is that the primary I mean, I don't know why you this? guys decided to come on in here, but uh, I'm here for oh, weed. what is that smell? And he sort of leans over towards JD and, like, takes a big whiff. Oh, oh, who's been eating you? Here, and he pushes you in the door of the trailer. You're all standing outside. It's it's not actually large enough for all of you to go inside. He shoves you inside. Look, shower's there, man. Like, please, for my sake. Just... I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> So now that that uh, love fest is over with, uh, can we uh, get down to business here? Uh, I mean, sure. I, I mean, listen. All right, where do we start? I'm smoking weed with a werewolf. Yeah, can we go into the, the werewolf part? <laughs> well, you know, that's what I really needed to explain to you all. You know, I, things got a little carried away over the phone. I don't know what you fellas want me to tell you. I mean... Obviously, I've admitted to being Uratha, but I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm honor bound to keep the secrets of our kind. Do you understand? Yeah, it's just honestly, it sounds like you made up a bunch of words. 
And then... The first language is not a bunch of made-up words. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't sound like a... Easy, 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 easy. Okay, whatever. Just like, I'm just whispering, pat, pat on the shoulder there. <laughs> the first language so... is a long-standing tradition handed to us from our ancestors millions and millions of I'm, years I'm ago. Side oh. sidestepping behind him, and I'm just like... <laughs> I'm yeah. just nodding at everyone like, yeah, just take, yeah, just yeah, keep going. Yeah, millions of years ago, I, 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 I believe that. It is an honor to speak the first tongue, as only a werewolf can. Is it because your tongues are For now. Big? I mean, I'm learning Spanish on Duolingo. <laughs> Duolingo. Do they have? Yeah, dude, it's a, it's a cell phone app. You Oh. Have you tried it yet? It's really oh, cool. can I get that on my PC? And he goes and, and it rummages around in his trailer and sort of walks back out. Yeah, he sort of toddles a little bit. He's in his 50s. He's got kind of a bum leg and, and a lot of sort of scruffy red hair and beard. And he comes out really an- animatedly with an ancient Dell laptop. <laughs> oh, shit, man. I haven't seen what. I think my dad uses one of these. Fuck. I mean, I knew you were kind of like an older daddy type, but I didn't think you were like, oh, wow. Oh shit, this thing's running XP. What is this thing? Oh jeez, I don't know. He turns it upside down. I didn't get it that long ago. Uh, 2009. Yeah, see, it's practically brand new. And he puts it on. We weren't even using XP then. <laughs> oh my god. He puts oh, it on a picnic table and sort of types in his password and he gets it wrong a couple of times. It takes a long time because he's just like henpecking mm. with like two fingers. In the meantime, but eventually. JD it, finally comes out of the shower. Eventually it, it, it pops open and it's Wolf Book on it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, it's a very wow. fetching picture, and by fetching I mean really grainy and dark selfie of him sort of smiling with, with uh, like half transformed. He's got like fur coming out of his temples and big fangs, and he's just smiling all cute. That can't be. I mean, uh, that, doesn't that violate some werewolf code? Thou shall not take selfies. Oh, no, we can do that. Oh, hey, JD. <laughs> oh, come on, we're not living in the Stone Age. I thought this was supposed True. to be a secret society of werewolves. Well, yeah, this is on an intranet. Yeah. I, I went to oh, community intranet. college. I know some stuff. Oh, okay. All right, honey. Anyway, didn't you all have some not werewolf questions? I mean, I can answer anything about that crap. Uh, I got two questions. Yeah. One, where'd you get this weed? It's actually really good. And two, uh, Wolf turns to Mason. So, are you a werewolf? Or, like, werewolf adjacent? No. Like, what's the deal with you, dude? <laughs> he laughs, but doesn't answer. Yeah. This old one and I met uh, a long time ago. And uh, let's just say we both needed to leave somewhere quickly. And we just decided that we could take care of each other as best as possible, given the circumstances. So... I'm a human, and he's a, a bum leg werewolf. <laughs> a I bum. Gotta, I kind of shove on a you a little bum. bit. A <laughs> bum. He, uh, well, wait, let me, sorry, I need to check something. No. Damn it, induces lunacy. All right, he doesn't transform. <laughs> but, he, <laughs> Jesus. but he does growl at you in a very convincing voice. <laughs> and, but then sort of, sort of rolls his eyes and laughs, and he, there's a comradery there you can all see. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Well, okay, so it's called Kansas City Kush. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good, good. And unfortunately, good know, it's know. only grown on pack land, so I don't think you can get it. Ah, uh, bummer. Sticking to the important questions. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, we ran into a vampire. Well, really, I figured. <laughs> really old, really powerful vampire. And oh. We don't know shit about what happened. And a werewolf, too. Uh, Do you guys remember the werewolf thing? Yeah, the, the one that jumped out of a wall and attacked us? Yeah, and J.D. thought it was a bear, uh, and I said it was a bear wolf. But, but do you guys remember that? So here's... Yeah. I, I yes. Did. Yes, we all remember that. Uh-huh. If I could, I'd like to relay basically the, the werewolf uh, prominent facts of what happened is... There were some werewolves that jumped out and roared at us. They didn't necessarily attack us, but they definitely roared at us. They were presumably there to deal with spirits. Somebody said as much. And um, uh, while unlikely, something very feral-sounding mauled a fellow that was working with us named uh, Henry. Uh, 
and as my understanding from the conversations we've had, that's not likely to be a werewolf thing to do. Um, my oh, extreme circumstance aside. I, I mean, if, if he was fully transformed and he didn't expect the kid to be there, I mean, rage happens. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, you guys are basically puny mortals. So it just happens. It just happens sometimes. Yeah, I, but I, I, I know. I've, I've killed lots of people on accident. I don't like to admit to it. I like to think I'm better now. But, you know, it happens to all of us eventually. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, step back here. Are you saying that... that so when's the next full moon? <laughs> I, I would know that. <laughs> He's really funny. He's cute. I like that one. Man, you're so much better now. You don't smell like bloodsucker. <laughs> well, that's because JD has a new boyfriend. All right, so so did you get a name? For this? Well, I'm going to, at this point... Of anybody? No, not really. I, I'm, I'm just going to start rifling through these files I have and see if I can find the subject V that we read about. Because um, I just had all those files. Because I want it rolling, <laughs> rifling through the. the sure. Uh, so roll your um, roll investigation intelligence, uh, and just roll until you get five successes, and then tell me how many times you roll it. That'll determine how long it takes you. <laughs> and in the meantime. He's uh, leaning over the laptop and he's pecking away like, no, seriously, did anyone get the werewolf's name? I, I bet I can look him up. Oh, werewolf. He's very excited. I, I, I believe his name was something like, <laughs> I don't know. He sort of laughs and he goes, oh, that's ridiculous. I don't think his name was Pussy. <laughs> I, uh, I think that we were all a little too uh, distressed to, to say much to him or, or him to us. Uh, it... It it was a very uh, it, it was a new experience for all of us. Just to all right. So then, uh, anything else? Listen, I, I don't really give a shit about um. about you know honestly the intricacies of your social structure or whatever. Right. But what I do give a shit about is Rude. I'm sorry. Excuse you. Um, <laughs> but what I do give a shit about is what if we run into this shit again? What can we do to make sure that we don't get our asses eaten? And not in the fun way. How prevalent is this crap? Oh, like, I mean, stuff's everywhere. It's a dangerous world, man. <laughs> I love that explanation. Just stuff's everywhere. I mean, I mean, look, um, most of us don't roll around in a trailer like I do. But me and Mason, we got a deal, and I, I mean to keep it. But, you know, most of the time... People got their hunting grounds, you know? They got their pack lands, they got their whole setup, and they don't really like to move so much. So, I mean, if I was you, and unfortunately y'all are cursed with the lunacy now, you all know this stuff is real, you're not just going to forget it. My recommendation is when you go to a new town, you ought to figure out what's there. What do you mean I'm cursed? Is that like a thing that we have to go to like, do witches exist? Do we have to go to witches and get them to remove a curse? He visibly flinches and goes, oh yeah, you don't want to touch them mages. Them is bad so news. That's, re- that, that's real too. That's real vampires, too now. Good to know. Werewolves. That's real too now. Fantastic. Wait, wait a minute. Are you saying there are people with, 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 with powers? Oh, they may be people, but they are not human. Oh, those witches. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been corrected. The mages. They don't give a fuck, man. Um, okay. So, all right, I'm just going over this in my head. We have vampires, werewolves, such as yourself, uh, werewolf adjacents, which I guess we qualify as now. Oh, uh, no, no, you're uh, not wolf-born. You, you, you're, you don't become that. You're just born that. Oh, okay, oh, cool. Shit. So, I didn't say that. <laughs> I I heard nothing. I paused for my, I'm my reading and, and heard I nothing. just pull out one of my little notebooks. And As I, you said it before, we know it now, and now we're not gonna forget it. No, I'm saying all oh, um, uh, humans are so literal. It's a turn of phrase. It just means you're aware of this stuff now, and so you're gonna see more of it because you know you're okay. looking for it. Fair. Okay. But if witches are real, like, what else are there? Is it like, fucking Frankensteins and, uh, I don't know, chupacabras? Uh, I mean, chupacabras maybe, but no one's ever seen one. What about a wendigo? Have you ever seen a wendigo? I did see a wendigo. Oh, what was he like? 
oh, you know, tall, skinny, looked just like the movies, actually. I kind of think whoever first wrote about the Wendigos actually saw one, because, you know, they were pretty much exactly like they said they was going to be. Well, good. And right about then, Mason finishes looking through the... After six minutes of searching, he does <laughs> find the page he's looking for. And it says the vampire's name is... Drum roll while I flip through a million character oh, sheets. there it was. Uh, Alaric Osella. Alaric Osella seems is the name. You know, I actually have heard of that. Son of a bitch. Yeah, the Osellas, they're a... They're a... What is it? Really so when vamp- <laughs> When vampires... See, most of them is... I, I'll be honest, I don't know much about them. They stink all the high heaven, and I don't really care for them. But I do know that, like, they get their powers, like, from whoever bites them, right? And sometimes a vampire has, like, a unique ability, and he'll pass it on, and they form, like, a separate family tree from, like, the big ones. That guy's got his own. And, uh, see, I heard about this because we had one run into our territory one time. And it was the damnedest thing. We could have we had such a hard time catching them because they got these retractable fangs. Yeah, this is the damnedest thing. Most vamps, you can always catch them because their, their incisors are pointed out and they can't hide them. But that clan, they actually have separate fangs that they pull up and down when they need them. So you're saying they just look kind of like everybody else? There's no real, besides the you know whole body, super strong, you know, well, I mean, they got powers and stuff, but yeah, if you were just to look at them, they just look like any human, even if you lift your lips. That's why we never did find the ones we was looking for. So if you were trying to, say, identify a human versus a vampire, what what would you do in that in that instance? Just in case we run across another one again. You know. I mean, I never really had much trouble other than that one hunt, because, I mean, generally there's coming after you. You can kind of tell when they got their fangs all... <laughs> Speaking of well, which... Well, I mean, I just smell them. I mean, you can't mistake it with your nose. Speaking of which, I'm not going to turn into a, 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 a vampire, am I? He, he leans real close and sort of sniffs you kind of awkwardly like a dog. <laughs> and he's like, oh, no, you're human. You, you smell fine to me. Uh, oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, thank God. Sweet I mean, I don't right, That is... I don't really know how it works, but uh, you don't smell like one of them, so I think okay. you're probably fine. Uh, I got a, I got a question. Uh, I got, a, I, I actually have a question here. Uh, isn't it kind of weird that, well, there were va- that there were vampires being tested on, hunters show up to kill them, and at the same time, werewolves show up. Well, well, yeah, well the we're... werewolves were there to deal with the the spirits of that tortured place, yeah. But it all happened at the same time. Like, do you think that was the only thing going on? What was up with those guys anyways? There was this guy and this lady, and they had, like, some crazy magic stuff with them. Okay, I, what, yeah. I, what I took away from that to mean was, just when I talked to those kids, is I think that the hunters worked for that company that put together that lab. So I think that they well. were just there to take out those kids so they didn't talk. Essentially. Mm. Well, you said you brought the kids to the bus station. Yeah. And yeah. And when you left, the vampire and the hunters were down there. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So who got who won? You don't know. Uh, yeah. I saw the last two fighting, but I wasn't going to say. So that, either but... there's a big eldritch vampire wandering around here, or you got these two hunters, one of whom, as I understand, was was bleeding from the chest. No. Yeah. Well, yeah, if he, he survived, he'd be in a hospital or something, right? You know. I mean, I guess that's one way you could find an answer. I mean, it seems to me, it's none of my business. I'm going to be out of here in a couple of days. But it seems to me, you let a vampire out of there, or someone did, you probably ought to figure out what happened to him. I mean, wouldn't you suppose, though, that uh, that he would be... I mean, he was locked up in a tube for a while, and it didn't look like he was in great shape when he came out of the tube. That's why he went for JD, because he just wanted a snack, I guess. Yeah. But... But uh, what I do think, he, he will probably want to hunt again, so I guess we could just keep an eye on the, the, the crime reports, right? Yeah, shouldn't this be the job of whatever company that stuck him in the tube in the first place? 
Well, I think that's what the hunters are trying to do. Yeah, I know, but why they have to kill everybody he even was looking around the place? Well, exactly they wanted the kids dead because they made them. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I don't have anything to do with us. You know, in retrospect, I've been doing some thinking about it, and I'm not sure they would have hurt us if yeah. we hadn't run from them inside with the, the vampire kids. Because that lady, I don't remember what her name was. I don't think I ever got it. But but she, it was this moment where I was uh, I was scrambling for the gun, Singer. I believe. Uh, you guys still, you don't know their names, though. Yeah, Neither know. of them mm-hmm. said their name in the game. I used them just to keep turn order simple. But you all don't actually know. Gotcha. Where, gotcha. Where she, she, she grabbed me by the shoulder and she pulled me out of the fight. And I don't think she was going to hurt me. So I, I'm not entirely sure... They were after us. I think that they just really wanted to put that vampire down. So. Look, I wasn't going to let them murder Yeah, no, obviously we couldn't have let them Uh, do that. But what I am saying is maybe it's not quite, you know, so quite so black and white here. I don't think you're wrong. Well, there's, that place is still wrong in general. The, the werewolves wouldn't be there otherwise. So, uh, I don't think the vampire will be the only thing coming out of the asylum eventually, unless the werewolves, because the werewolves had to flee. The hunters were going to kill them. Wait, so you're saying there was only the one? There were two hunters and I believe two werewolves. I only ever is that what you call those guys hunters? I only ever saw the one werewolf. One werewolf, two hunters. Two vampires? One wasn't moving much. Didn't, d- there were JD. three vampires. One of them was in pieces. Remember that one? JD. Yeah. Do you yeah. remember if... Uh, Vic, sorry. Um, you know, I'm just tired. Uh, do you remember if, uh, when you were looking on the screen, if you saw more than one werewolf? Would I have? Because I remember um, you saw the werewolves fleeing. I do have they a escaped. trained observer. Yeah, so, go ahead and roll that. This is the perfect application for trained observer. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, Yay! So what do I roll with that? It's a one dot merit. So it's um, it would be that plus a uh, intelligence investigation. Intelligence it's it's essentially it's the same roll you would make if you had investigated at the time, but with trained observer you can do it later. Oh, okay. And if you do it at the time, you get advantage on it. Uh, let's see, one success. Yeah, you remember uh, very distinctly there was only one werewolf. Okay. No, oh, I, uh, I only ever remember seeing one. All right. Now that is very peculiar. Why is that? I mean, the strength of the wolf is the pack. You don't go anywhere without your pack. Do you think that there's maybe a werewolf pack in the town that we just don't know about? Or do you think he was black? If you black. saw the one, you'd be damn sure there's a whole lot more of them. And it's certainly odd he'd go out alone. Mm-hmm. I mean... Not well, every, most werewolves ain't like me living out of a trailer by so themselves. Moved. Could you like check with them and let them deal with the situation? Yeah, I don't see. Oh, I'm not going to talk to the local werewolves. Do, <laughs> do you know what would happen if I walked on their pack lands? Whoa, <laughs> brother! No, but can't, uh, can't you some, just like wave a white flag or something? I oh. mean, I could piss on it, but I think that'd just piss them off. How? Uh, uh, what if one of us did it? How do? <laughs> We can't piss on a No, flag. not pee on it, but <laughs> how do we I mean, could. How does a a human start a conversation with a werewolf without causing some sort of fight to break out? He has a sort of feral <laughs> grin on his face according, like According to Henry, if <laughs> What does that mean? Uh, it sounds like somebody getting killed by a werewolf. Yes. <laughs> Essentially more or less. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> the fuck, <laughs> man? Oh, uh, you humans are always so fun. <laughs> this is the times I'm glad I left the reservation, man. You guys are so fun to fuck with. But yeah, you know, if you all went on their pack lands and it was protected, then uh, you'd be repelled by it, by a supernatural force. But, uh, you know, if they didn't have that, then I suppose you could just walk right in. It all depends on what, you know, what kind of resources their pack has. What does our, uh, just just out of character real quick, what does our shooting schedule look like for the next couple of days? Uh, yeah, we can go over that. We can go over that now. So glad you asked. So, essentially the way that we're going to run downtime in this game is uh, you all are on a traveling show. You'll The show will have specific days when you're shooting in different towns. 
and you'll move between those towns on a schedule, but you'll have days in between where your time is not accounted for. So for instance, uh, you guys were just shooting from Saturday night to Sunday morning. It's currently Sunday, which is a day off. You all have a mandatory turnaround before you can be called back to shoot more. They had a tentative schedule for Monday to shoot more if you guys didn't get enough. So you'll have to meet with the production and see if you got enough. If you did, then you'll have that day off. You'll have a day off in between. And then after that, you'll travel to your next city. So you effectively have three and a half days in this town or to travel around elsewhere and make it to your next shooting location to do with as you please. All right. And your next shooting location is Kansas City. Hmm. Or uh, do you guys think that we're going to have enough time to, like, you know, look for a pack of werewolves before tomorrow? We have to. Why, I, why we, do we have to? I don't think to? we have to do anything, to be honest. Well, it's, it guys. Sounds a lot like their problem. We, there's either, A, a werewolf running around with uh, no pack, and that doesn't sound good, or we unleashed two fucking super vampires on this bumfuck town. Yeah, that's going to get Salem's lot real quick. Or the humans with the, the enforcers, exterminators, whatever the hell they were, maybe they won. We don't know. Yeah. Shouldn't, I'm, I'm pretty well, sure if... we should at least find out. I'm pretty sure if those guys don't come back, Dickhead Incorporated is just going to send some more right. schmucks to go clean the mess up. Before all else, we have to go back to shoot more, yes? Maybe. I don't think what, so. I hope not. What can we do to protect what even rudimentary weapons repel vampires for humans that we could use? I mean, anyone got holy water? I mean, I know it's old school, but that and uh oh god, what do we do? We had a we had a vampire issue. What do we do? I don't remember. It was so many years ago. Garlic? Electricity. Mm-hmm. Strange enough, they don't like they don't like to get shocked. Okay. Fancy that. We need And eyes go over to Darla. <laughs> right? Well, I got this taser. Do you think that would do good? Oh, that'll fuck him up real good. So we need to make some purchases. What what else sounds good? Uh dude, is steak through the heart, is that still a thing? Uh, Was that ever Here's a thing? the thing, yeah. The steak through the heart, it doesn't kill him on its own. But it will hold him still, nope. so you can kill him proper. But it takes a long damn okay. time. Most of the time you just stake him if you want to get a clean like like escape. And you don't want them to follow you because they can follow you real far. <laughs> how how would just one kill it proper? I mean, well, you you gotta. I, I really the easiest way is just get them in sunlight. But I gotta tell you, I don't really know. I mean, we usually just try and chase them out. It's just too much trouble. You never know if they're really dead. I mean, you get them low enough, you get them like real hurt, and they just kind of lay there and they look like a corpse. But sometimes they stay there and they die. Sometimes they get right back up later, and they're all, you know, <sighs> and as soon as they eat, they're all back to normal. The damnedest thing. I never could figure it out, but, you know, that's not really, that was in my job in the pack to go in out and, you know, kill stuff. I just wrote the stories down for history. Uh, I shouldn't have told you that. <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't have, huh? So I vote that we never go back in that place and see if we have enough footage to, yep, uh, to move on. Yep, seconded. I'm uh, sorry, there's not really a whole lot we can do, Wolf. I'm sorry about a vampire. Well, we need to at least... We couldn't even fight that dude. He messed with JD's head. What's it's... to say he wouldn't do that with us? Well, then we need to go get some equipment at least to protect ourselves for the next couple days till we can leave. What, if, what are we going to do against hypnotism? So, or whatever the hell that was. So, so here's what we do. We travel in groups of two at all times, at least. Somebody goes and gets holy water, and somebody else goes and get spend a couple dollars to get us maybe two tasers. Otherwise, we're just completely in the dark at night. Nobody's, nobody sleeps alone. Nobody leaves alone. we got to travel in groups for a bit. Until we can leave this town, at least. So... At least two of us need to go. I don't know. How did you guys get holy water from the church? You should go buy some. You ask. Yeah, you just go to go go ask a priest. So we'll need to go. Somebody take maybe 
what, 40, 40, 50 bucks? I don't know. We'll go talk to a priest. Here, I'll give you some if you need it. I don't think they charge. No, for dude, it's free. Right. Like, right. Come on, man. Don't. I don't know. I, we we, we right, might cool. need a lot. All right, I'm taking Vic. I'm going to go get holy water. You guys handle the tasers. Tasers or whatever. Right. Yeah, well, you can get tasers at Walmart. You can get anything at Walmart. It's right. fine. Well, except holy water. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, just Wolf, uh, real quick, before we go, uh, I got to ask. Yeah? Is is Bigfoot real? <laughs> You've been watching too much TV, kid. <laughs> okay, I deserve that. <laughs> Sasquatch. <laughs> So really, no one got a name for the werewolf. I, I I'd like to look him up. Could He's I, tapping away at his laptop. Any chance that was in the files? I really doubt it. No, nah, no, nah, he wasn't part of the facility. Um, could I roll for any distinguishing features? It was yeah. really, it was really quick. You, you got so. a, you got a decent look at him, and you have the footage of him too. Oh, well, can I start with looking for footage? Yeah, you then, can start looking for footage. All right, what was that again? Do you remember investigation intelligence? Uh, yeah, investigation intelligence. And it's just however long it takes you to get five successes. Five, goodness. Okay, come on. Tens, help me out here. Oh, we're at three. Oh, three. Four. One minute goes by. Two minutes go by. And everybody else talk. I'm, I'm not doing anything exciting right now. <laughs> so who wants to go to Walmart yeah. with me? Uh, to grab tasers? Yeah. I'll go. Oh, it sounds fun. I mean to pick up a nail kit anyway. I got a lot of one. papers to go through here, so if I if you guys don't mind, I'll stay with Charlie. Is that fine? Yeah, you can do whatever sure. you want. Sure. I might be able to. I'm not mad about it. We'll learn something else about these vampires that uh, might go for us. How are we going to do transport? Uber. Yeah, I, I mean, know. I got the van, so I can just take JD. I have the, I have the keys. So they I have Uber you, out here. There's an Uber everywhere, dude. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, right. fair enough. So, okay, you all break. Nothing really that... Nothing noteworthy <laughs> really happens. You're all successful. You go to Walmart, you get your tasers and your nail kit, and you, you two go to uh, the, the local church or a synagogue, and you manage to talk your way into some holy water, no sweat, and Mason spends the entire time reviewing the footage and seeing what all they got. Uh, okay, not entirely sure you can get holy water from a synagogue. Just, 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 a, just a side note. Who actually has drive? I have a little bit of drive. I do not. I don't. I have and a little anyone... phobia okay. of driving. Does Wolf have any drive? Drive? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't believe he does. <laughs> okay. Well, they're taking an Uber. So, so. I'll, I'll drive. Yes. No. <laughs> well, just, just for future references. No, wait. I do have drive. I do have two drive. drivers. So yeah. you drive. I have you, drive Vic. And I will say, for the purposes of this campaign, you do not need the skill drive in order to drive a car. You need it to get around a chase or to well, move through traffic fast. It's to best to have the person who is capable of yep. doing those things at the wheel yep. at the time. Yep. Yes. Or you'd have to try to switch. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes, Wolf? Yeah, uh, can we... Do you want to play out the scenes at all, or do you want to just cut the uh, next part? We're going to cut to the next part. Um, it's, okay. it's pretty un, un, unremarkable for you all, for the most part. Uh, you, you get what you went there for. And you yeah, I mean, back. JD and I are just treated to the people of Walmart. Yeah, we're, we're, we're treated to Podunk Walmart, too. <laughs> so. Oh, God. So, uh, I am kind of wondering about how we managed to convince a priest to give two strangers holy water. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably just buy it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Had to happen. You can also yeah. ask. They have to they do. do it. Uh, huh. Yeah. <laughs> Quick question. Can we just like, okay, John, I know, uh, John, uh, is it possible to take like water from like a drinking fountain? And Probably like, just take gallon something? jugs. No, what you can do, I, I don't know if it's holy water. <laughs> you can but... get it by the gallon? <laughs> Probably. They can bless uh, as much water as they want. It just has to be blessed. Oh, okay. Okay, so it does it... When you go into a Catholic church and there's water in the front and then you yeah. do the cross, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's holy water, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you just a... get a flask and just dunk it in that thing? It's not okay. that deep. This is this, this sound... is why I wanted to skip it. There's so many ways you could get this, <laughs> and none of them are really that different or interesting. <laughs> I, just, I just imagine you walk up with two like gallon jugs like, hey, bless these. <laughs> like, <laughs> see, see, I was I was thinking like it was an amount uh, per day, like Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Or you go. Get a camelback. <laughs> camelback of holy water. <laughs> you just take a Home Depot bucket to like a baptism. Like, that's bad. You already have it in like a a, a, a super soaker. Can you, <laughs> Can you guys get those at Walmart? I'm going I'm vampire. Sure Can you guys get those at Walmart? We could. We could. 
All right, so I, I would like, have. I, Wolf is totally texting Darla. Hey, buy cheap super. Yeah, no, sandwich. I'm totally gonna get a couple of cheap super. <laughs> All right, see where so, you're going with this. I'm down. Like a bunch of like the little like square ones. <laughs> so Mason and Darla, between you two, you need to come up with about like two hundred twenty dollars for the two tasers, the super soakers, and the nail kit. I have about. I have like two hundred bucks left. I sent. The only thing I had uh, when I um, made my character was a pink taser, and I know that um, you gave a certain amount of money, but, but you didn't write it down. I'll, 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 I'll send him a 40 bucks at least. All right. I, so, I, I can do more, but at least 40 bucks. So we'll take your 40 bucks and subtract, what, 80? No, 1, 150 from yours. Okay. And that'll pay for the whole tab. Okay. Pencil. So about an hour. Shout out for everybody. <laughs> about an hour passes, and uh, you all make it back safely. When you get back, I'll split the difference oh. with your supplies. One yes. more question: Just tell uh, me how, how the often difference do we is? get paid from working on set? You get paid once every two weeks. Okay. Actually, no. This is a film set. You get paid every right. week. Cool. Okay. Just pass me the pencil when you're done. I'll take off ninety five. So in like two months, real world time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If we keep going at the pace I'm we've just been going, I, I need my squirt gun money. <laughs> <laughs> so in the time you have uh, gone through Mason you turned in your footage to the, the uh, production last night upon going through what you gave them today uh, you're pretty sure that you gave them enough to cut an episode with uh, and in fact you, you call with the rest of your hour you call the production and they confirm that you guys are free for the day nice. uh, the crew transport leaves this town uh Today is Sunday. They leave this town on Tuesday morning. If you guys miss that, you can stay longer and get yourself to Kansas City, mm -hmm. but the crew transport leaves then. So you guys okay. basically have until then to do what you wish. Okay. Oh. Um, uh, goodness. Is the, so uh, my, my first question is, uh, Mason, were you like able to figure out how we could like get in contact with these werewolves? I'd like to do that, but um, I also have some other things I want to review. Um, do we really want to go meet with the werewolves? I mean, it, we don't need to unless we start getting hunted by vampires. Constantly. I guess that's a fair point. It, like, we don't, <laughs> unless we or the local populace suddenly start suffering from it, is it really a problem? Maybe he just leaves and goes back to yeah, work. Yeah, I mean, it's entirely possible that the, the, the vampire will just bounce. So... Maybe become aware of them, but not cause a problem. So if you guys want to wander around the city, we well, can look for... Well, I know what Darla's going to do, and she doesn't really need to, to be with other people. Uh, I mean, I know we're going to go... you got to have back. at least one. All right. Then who wants to go to the library with me? Anybody? I'll go. I need to review footage, so I'll just sit yeah, with you. Yeah, she's going to go and bring her, bring her laptop or iPad or whatever she has to... Uh, the local library. And I'm assuming uh, Charlie's still at our kind of disposal. I mean, kind of. Time. He doesn't really, he's a homebody. He doesn't put his shoes on. Yeah. But yeah, if you want to ask him stuff, he'll answer. You know where he lives now. You can bug hey, him and well, ask him things. I have like a, I have like a bunch of stuff in my like, the, the chest I have in the, in the kind of our mm -hmm. uh, bus or whatever we have. Um, for my advanced library that's like full of like minor research on paranormal normal stuff so i would just like take him that and ask him what of it is real okay what is is is, is this stuff like all stuff that exists like is this things like like ghosts they know about ghosts oh of course <laughs> ghosts do the whole, half the world is spirits son uh, <laughs> and yeah just Oh, uh, and for, for Vic, he is going to want to have that therapy session with Wolf, and there's also a phone call he wants to make. Okay. Yeah, so for, for Darla, I think... Right, I'm going to make a list of all the things you guys are going to do, and we'll just go through it. Yeah. yeah. So we'll go Darla and Mason at the library. Yeah. We'll do therapy with Vic and Wolf. Now tell me about your mother. <laughs> um... You wanted, uh, D JD wanted Charlie to go over his research. Yeah. Uh, while we're on it, um, what's everyone going to spend their experience points on? We have amassed four, which means oh. you all can buy one dot worth of something. Uh, Vic went ahead, uh, just 
I, I, I thought it would be a better idea to give Vic a little more fame because I don't think that uh, Charlie would have had the reaction that he did to one dot of fame from a from a character like Vic. So I think an additional dot, uh, you know, former child actor and current voice actor, probably in certain circles would have a little more clout than just a single dot. Okay. Cool. JD? Uh, JD, through his daily training regiments, become a little bit more live and whatnot, and he's gained a point of dexterity. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Wolf? Very cool. Um, you know, I made a joke about it earlier, but uh, I'm going to take a dot in the language merit. Uh, I'm going to give him Spanish. Useful. Darla? Um, so I'm going to take another dot in the uh, Eye for the Strange merit, uh, because later in the sort of interlude scene that we're doing, she's going to start looking up psychic phenomena. All right. And Mason? Uh, I'm concerned with our ability to handle these things for the foreseeable future, so I would like to start investing in uh, equipment that maybe we could better protect ourselves with. So uh, I imagine I need one in resources. I want to get to two in resources. All right, yeah. We'll give you a one dot in resources, and we'll figure out, we'll role play through how you get that. Yeah. Um, I would say since you've already used your camera skills to the furthest extent and you're not going to be paid for those for a little bit, uh, maybe you locate uh, a place I, in town when you can you can do some sort of labor not, yeah, or I'm, day labor for it. I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get everything out of Charlie, so if there's an intro web that I can find where people share stuff like this, even if it's hokey, um, I'd like to share maybe pictures of or images, video clips of the, the kids with the face changing, maybe blur out in, in distinguishing f- physical features if I can, just to protect identities. All right, we'll, we'll go through that at the uh, library. See if I can't learn something, and then maybe make money by selling them that information. Works for me. Uh, so let's see. You all uh, sort of hop in the van and drive your way over into the little town square, it's a really charming sort of one street lineup of old brick shops with glass windows. There's a sort of a green area with some benches and an American flag in front of a sort of city hall small building. And then sort of to the right is a school and then to the left is a small public library. And you see on mm-hmm. the front of the building it also says town archive. So you all walk in. It's a sort of chestnut wood and, and you know, a Formica table sort of establishment with you know, low pile carpet, and it's a very classic sort of comforting space for you all to be in. There is a line of, of computers to use, and there's also tables with sort of uh, power outlet access for people to use their own devices. And there's people just sort of wandering around, uh, you know, pulling books and doing library stuff. So I think she's going to hop, she's going to sort of set her ass down uh, at one of those comfy tables um, and... Um, sort of boot up her computer and just sort of do some really hard digging because I feel like she's probably a tiny bit concerned because she does have some actual sort of latent psychic abilities that that there is a chance uh, that she may be a witch (laughs) 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 Um, and so she's She's Googling, how do you know if you are a witch? <laughs> I'd love to see the results of that. <laughs> so would I. That's why I'm looking. Yeah, I know. I was just about to Google it myself. How do you know if you are a witch? Thanks, <laughs> Google. Are you a witch? Signs and characteristics. 13 signs you're a witch. How to tell if you're a naturally born witch. These are the things you're seeing on your computer. Well, I don't <laughs> think that sounds right. <laughs> As well as a bunch of YouTube videos with curly bohemian girls talking about spirits and crystals. Uh, I don't believe in that crystal shit. All right, <laughs> let's uh, let's try that. Let's try something else. Um, uh, uh, real life psychic phenomenon <laughs> with the misspelling. Good, because I just misspelled that. <laughs> it says, "Do you mean real life psychic phenomena?" Yeah, 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 yeah that's what I was looking for. Oklahoma's best psychics. Oh no, that's that's because we live in Oklahoma. So you would have <laughs> Nebraska. You would have Nebraska's best psychics. Get a free psychic reading today. Uh, I don't mean fa- fake shit. Uh, uh, and then I just go to YouTube and I, I search psychic phenomena. All right. So life. you 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 dig down the the YouTube wormhole of information, and eventually you do find yourself at a strange little subsection. 
Uh, it gets it, you actually get there through a a documentary about the medieval witch trials. It only it's very sort of it's got lots of like pipe and drum music, and it's talking about how you know the hatred of witches was a a hidden war against powerful women. And it's very much in the sort of Wicca strain of things. That makes sense. It's history according to Wicca. But you do find some interesting notions there. There's, you know, these ideas that uh, that humans have an inherent spirituality and that some women have a, an or- organic connection to the energies of life and that certain substances appear to improve people's psychic connections. Uh, and you can sort of follow that track for as long as you want and maybe I could get you based on an an investigation role maybe we could get you some kind of yeah why don't we try um, materials you could buy or or something like that yeah let's try an investigation role and see what what I can come up with all right so would that be investigation wits Uh, what what would you (laughs) um what do you think just uh do Give me a investigation, intelligence, and a cult. Investigation, intelligence, a cult. Uh, one success. Uh, well, with one success, you you aren't you don't find anything substantiated, but uh, you do find a list of sort of minerals and and. Uh, rituals that you think, you know, this doesn't sound totally implausible. Maybe maybe you'll give him a try. And okay. I, I'll, I'll make a list for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. she's just going to write down the ritual because that doesn't sound like bullshit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a ritual in which you lay candles into a pentagram shape and by focusing on the, the energy transfer between the candle and the flame, you sort of feel the, the energy around you. And she's going to look up the nearest Yankee candle store. <laughs> it's 350 miles away. Fuck. She's going to go back to Walmart. <laughs> Photo candles are $2.99 for 15 <laughs> And that moves us over to Mason. Freaking drug me out of the library to go to get candles. Like that Walmart. <laughs> All right. How are we, how we doing? Am I learning anything useful or selling anything useful? Yeah, you... um. You're looking at the sections you did not give to the production. Yeah. And to your um, sort of chagrin, you actually did catch a lot of the fight. It's pretty visceral. Uh, you know, you see Casey shoot a man, and you see a uh, wolf break his chair over uh, over a figure on the floor. Yeah. But yeah. once things start to get really crazy and, and the cases, the tubes get busted open, you just sort of see things moving or you you. hear... You sort of hear other people talk, but no trace of the vampire is on the footage whatsoever. Can I see a figure coated in blood? No. Okay, so... You, well, you can see Reese be covered in blood. Mm-hmm. And you do not see blood hit the floor next to him, but you do not see a figure covered in blood. Okay. Well, I'll at least try and sell that bit as clearly... If you know anything about vampires, there's a vampire right there. Because where did the blood go? It just vanished. Yeah, you can post that. Mm-hmm. Um, you also have an intuition that the blurry sort of footage from when you dropped the camera and the werewolf uh, yeah. attacked you, yeah. that the the sort of blurry, furry creature bursting through the wall is probably worth something. Yeah. So you go, um, do you have a computer of your own? or are you I, using... I do have a laptop I purchased. All right, cool. So uh, you flip open your laptop and... Uh, you start to do some searches. Yeah. Uh, roll me uh, computers, investigation, and intelligence. I'm having mercy on you because uh, this is not an easy thing to find. One. Well, you uh, you find uh, the Drudge Report. It seems like a super like right wing weird website for weird phenomena and disappearances, but uh, it doesn't really seem legit, and it's certainly not a mar- marketplace. Uh, is Darla wrapping up stuff, or can I try yeah, again? Yeah, she's going to try again. She's, she's going to start heading your way in a couple seconds. Uh, one, two, three... One, two, three, four... Five. Five. Okay. A, lot, a lot better. 
All right, yeah, you find the mm -hmm. uh, Middle Nebraska Paranormal Society website yep. and uh, a phone number and address. The address is not mm -hmm. in this town, yep. but you do have a phone number. <laughs> okay. Um, so by that time, uh, Darla sort of, sort of plops herself down in the seat across from uh, Mason. It's like, hey, so I'm going to need to go back to Walmart. We're going to need to get me some candles. Um, and I was wondering, uh, I mean... If you're busy later, uh, I was wondering. I kind of, I kind of want to try something. Okay. And <laughs> I, I <clears throat> uh, you see, just, just let's go get candles. Well, well, uh, all right, dear. No, no, okay, it sounds yeah. bad, out of context. Okay. What would I roll to interpret what she's doing right now? Um, a standard perception is wit's, uh, wit's composure. Okay, cool, we're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> is, is Darla just not going to explain? Apparently not. Apparently not. Um, one. What Seems like she's, something's bothering her. <laughs> I... It, it was stressful. Um, no, no, these aren't I, like... Okay, I appreciate not... the offer, miss. <laughs> Let's... We can go on the road. I need to call somebody. We, we can pick up a few things. Yeah, well, well and I And we'll need... talk a bit. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> miss, don't, don't shout in the library. Okay, go, we're leaving. I, I apologize to the librarian uh, as we're walking out. No, just stop being stupid. Uh, We're walking out. I'm already at the door. <laughs> Pick my shit up and shove it in my bag and I stop after. Listen here. Uh, okay. All right. I, I'm going to be real with you. I guess we're outside. In front yeah, of you're the, outside the on the lawn. And I sort of like look around. I'm like, listen, I got I got to be honest here. You know, m you know, most of the stuff I do is bullshit. Mm -hmm. I got to be. I mean, I make money doing it and I make pretty good money doing it. But it's a talent. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not really that real, but I have to say that sometimes I, uh, I do get, get feelings mm. when I'm in a place, you know, it, uh, I don't know, it's like, I, sometimes I, I, you know, the thing is, is sometimes I do hear voices, so and, not, and not in a, like, crazy way, in a, like, and like, or, or, uh, or bad feelings when I'm in a place, you know? Like, remember when we were shooting in that room that had all the rats in it? Yeah. Well. Well, I wasn't there. No, you were totally there. No. You, you were there. No, I wasn't. That was Bubba. Yes, Bubba. Well, we've shot in a room where there was a bunch of rats in it. I'm sure you saw the footage. Anyway. Fuck <laughs> with the look on your face. I just, I, I love that Darla cannot distinguish between the cameramen. It's, <laughs> no, no, it's no, so this, real. This it's so, so real. real. You, you, just take it from someone who's worked in the film industry. That is so good. Uh, <clears throat> Actually, that no, wasn't one's me. A gigantic oh, Hawaiian well. Guy. I'm sorry. I just really get you confused with that large with Hawaiian the, With the huge Hawaiian guy? Yeah. Uh, anyway, I, you know. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> what do you want? No, okay. The thing is, is like, I, I was looking. The reason I wanted to go to the library, don't be a dick. The reason I wanted to go to the library was because I wanted to, you know, it kind of spooked me when we talked to your Charlie guy because he said that there are witches out there. What if I'm a witch? What if I just didn't know for a really long time? What if, what if, what if, I don't even know what the hell happens to them. Okay. And I, no, I found this, 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 I went on the internet and I went online. Uh, I, I, I take Darla's hand. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Well, we need to go to Walmart to get the candles. Sure. And then, and then I, you know, I need some chalk, I guess, because I have to draw a pentagram. Sure. Which sounds a little bit too close to, okay. to Satanism to me, but. So. Let's get in the car. Okay. I need to call somebody about selling them some footage. Okay. Consequently, they might know something about that. Okay. While we're driving to Walmart. Okay. Please get in the driver's seat. And oh, I yeah, hop yeah in the I car. probably should drive because that's not safe. <laughs> okay, so I'm calling uh, the Nebraska Paranormal Society. 
Ring, 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 ring. Hello, Shelly. Hi, Shelly. Uh, I'm uh, a person who might have some footage to sell you guys. Oh, yeah. We, we love talking to the local population. You know, we have 15 years of paranormal research investigation, and we would be happy to look at your footage for you. Okay. Uh, I also have some questions. Is there anyone near... Bleh, what's the name of this town again? Manascus. Is there anyone near Manascus I could go visit? Maybe uh, an envoyers or somebody on on call hmm. out that way? Yeah, um, let's see. Our team works out of Memphis. Uh, not Memphis. Psst, that's in Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> Memphis, Nebraska. For the Nebraska. There might be a Memphis. Society. Tell us if there's a Memphis, Nebraska, please. <laughs> I'm going to look this up. Yeah, our team works, our team works out, out of... Uh, Fuck me. Nebraska. <laughs> fuck me, Nebraska. Where's that fuck me, Nebraska? <laughs> Nebraska. <laughs> Nebraska, where there is nothing, so. Corn, <laughs> Nebraska. <laughs> the capital of Nebraska, guys? Corn. <laughs> it's called <laughs> corn. Guys, 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 there is a Memphis, Nebraska. Yes! Oh my God. Well, we, we work out of Memphis, uh, but uh, now that you mention it, we have a, I have an old friend. Yeah, I have an old friend that works out of there. <laughs> the population in 2010 is 114. <laughs> it's the capital is Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> to all, to anybody and everybody listening oh, in Nebraska. So <laughs> Move to a state, real state. The state is very boring, and we love you. Karen, stop. Get out of there. Okay. We'll take that um, if you want. Anyway. Where were we? Abort. Anyway. Abort. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we have we have a man that works kind of near there, but uh, honestly, I do all the the footage uh, the footage uh, investigations and stuff, and uh, I keep our website. And uh, but uh, yeah, you know, I got I got a contact that's uh, looking for some stuff. What what are you looking to What are you looking to sell? Um, uh, I was there rolling when a group of people I know got attacked by a vampire. And you can't see it, but you can clearly see where it would have been hit by some blood. And the blood hit nothing. It didn't even touch the floor. It just vanished in that space. Also, we were chased by a werewolf. And you can clearly see it walk after us in the shot. I dropped the camera. Really? Yeah. Well, that's very interesting. How um, about, uh, I'm going to give you my email. And uh, how about you, you send that to me? I'll... Yeah, I'll, I'll send you some clips, uh, but I'm probably not going to send all of that because, you know, you could just never talk to me again. Yeah, <laughs> you know, um, I'm going to look into it, and I'll see if my buddy can come and see you. Okay. And uh, maybe I'll can do an investigation together yeah. or something. Have him call this number. We'll meet somewhere. All right, sounds good. Thanks for calling. Yeah. Did oh, I... oh uh, she hung just up yet? click. <laughs> Text her. Hey. Uh, call, call him back. <laughs> yeah, call her back. Sorry. Hello, Middle Nebraska Paranormal Society. Hi, Miss. Uh, it's uh, I didn't say my name before, but Mason. I I, I didn't mean to hang up. Uh, oh, the the gentleman just now. Sure. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. What uh, What you need? Well, Miss, uh, do you have anyone in your organization that knows much anything about witches? Witches? Can't say that I do. I mean, most of our our investigations are hauntings. Sure. You know, in in this area, it's mostly. You know, people's property and their private homes and some historic buildings. But, um, no, I can't say I know anybody that focuses on witchcraft. Okay. Well, do you know anyone I could have the I know, email of that might know? I knew a medium. Sure. And, um, oh, it was one of our traveling investigations. I think she was out of Illinois. Okay. And, you know, she was a real remarkable woman. I could put you in contact with her. Sure. When I uh, send you the, the clips, could you support me in her email? Sure. You know, I got to see if I still Work have on. it. That was quite some time ago, okay. but I'll look for you. Thank you very much, miss. Have Thank a good you. one. All right. Bye-bye. As we pull up to the beauty capital of the world, Walmart, Tennessee, or wherever the hell we are. Walmart. Memphis. <laughs> Walmart, <laughs> Walmart, Tennessee. Walmart, Tennessee. Is, <laughs> is there a Walmart, Tennessee? We're not in no, there is not a Walmart, Tennessee. I don't even need to look at oh, well, there is Welcome a Walmart, to Walmart, Walmart Tennessee. 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 You, are, you are in Manascus, Tennessee. God almighty. Oh, we are I thought we were in Nebraska. Stop, Nebraska. Oh my God. <laughs> You're in Manascus, Nebraska. A made up town, made up because I didn't want to think of real world names. <laughs> and clearly I should have stepped to my guns on that. Oh no. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, Manascus, oh, Nebraska. Nebraska. Yes. 
I can't even see you guys right now, and I know Deanna's is crying. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the Walmart. So we go to the Walmart. I want the votive candles with Jesus on it because it makes it seem a little bit less like it's <laughs> would you, uh, You'd have to get the big tall Catholic ones yeah, for a dollar yeah, ninety nine yeah. each. Yeah, that's no. fine. Okay. The the ritual calls for votives, but you go with the with the the Hail Mary yeah, full yeah, of grace well, candles. It's, it's like how like, many are you getting? I'll apply tax uh, to it. It's like three Jesuses and then two Marys. Okay. So gotta have a good ratio. Are the price the same? Five. Yeah, they're all they're all one ninety nine. All right, so we'll apply tax, and that'll be uh, ten dollars and eighty seven okay, cents. <laughs> so glad I used real world money for this. <laughs> it makes it so much simpler. <laughs> all right, so you buy your candles, and I'm gonna at this point for you guys. Yeah. The sun is starting to go down. It's it's in the late afternoon. We're gonna turn back time a little bit, and we're gonna go to um, Vic and Wolf. Are you all ready for your scene? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, we'll go ahead and do their oh, yeah. their session. Okay, uh, just for the sake of time, I think, sorry, I got, like, something in my eye. Hold on. And you haven't even started the session yet. Yeah, I know. They usually, <laughs> usually, usually therapy doesn't start the crying until, like, you know, five minutes he in. It comes in. <laughs> <laughs> it's just something in my eye. Ah, okay. Uh, so, do you want to, uh, just, just for the sake of setting the scene, uh, Pope, were you thinking about this, excuse me, were you, were you thinking about this being, like, in the car on the way to uh, are you just to get the holy water or just like back at the hotel room or something? Are you... Let's do it in the hotel after we got the holy water. Okay. All right, so it's Wolf's hotel room, which is just like literally every other hotel room. It, the only difference is there's more Hawaiian shirts in the closet. <laughs> um... Wolf puts the water down on the little table they give you. Uh, we ended up going with two gallons, right? We just yeah. brought a gallon jug and was like, here, bless this, please. Thank you. <laughs> it was a little awkward, but successful. And yes, you have two gallons of holy water and milk jugs. We don't, ask you, we don't ask you about your private business, Padre. He's <laughs> just a very, like, sort of Listen. startled priest. You can ask him. <laughs> He, he asks you for uh, a couple cans of canned soup in exchange. <laughs> and, uh, That's the exchange all, rate for holy water? You yeah. all don't have them, but he lets it slide. <laughs> he thought it was worth a shot, you know. Yeah. Anyway, so you land back at your hotel room. Uh, all right. So, uh, Vic. You want me to call you Vic? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Uh, you wanted to have, like, a therapy session, right? right? Uh, where, where do you want me? Um, stop giggling. <laughs> Where would you be comfortable? Uh, Vic, uh, making making very sure to like take the cover off of the uh, uh, off of the bed because the, those those comforters are just filthy in motels. Uh, he uh, he lays down and just sort of uh, brings his hands behind uh, behind his the back of his head and he's uh, laying up and looking at the ceiling and he just. Uh, He's quiet for for a few seconds before saying, "You know, I know that we're both in the same camp on this, but I never, for a second, thought any of this was real." And then, just like in less than an hour, we knew all of it was. Wolf uh, grabs a chair and he brings us inside the bed and he sits down. Uh, he, you can tell. Even though he's usually just kind of like the goofy pothead, mid-30s dad of the group, you can tell he's still professional deep down. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's a traumatic event, obviously. But your worldview was shaken with no time for you to emotionally or mentally prepare for that. Yeah. Frankly, the way you've been handling it is better than I believe most people could. Well, I haven't eaten much, I haven't slept much, and at this point, going to the therapy session is pretty much assured that I'm going to start sobbing my eyes out. Well, this is a safe space. I'm not going to give you shit or laugh at you or anything about that. It's okay? a motel front where there's a film crew all around us. This is anything but safe. 
Well, while we're in here, you're safe. I'm not going to be like JD and make fun of you for anything, okay? Okay, that's a good start. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Michael's face. Michael's like, just going to lie. Like, what what, when I have I ever what done that? I do? <laughs> hey, hey, JD and Wolf have not seemed to get along yet. We're gonna have to have. We're gonna play out a moment with that later. But <laughs> it's okay. Uh, go, going back to going back to Vic, he's just like if if werewolves and vampires and maybe chupacabras, maybe they're all real. Then like. Where does that put me? You know? Well, where do you think that puts you? I, well, I I used to think that, you know... Like, I was on national TV enough times for me to realize that I'm not my own person. And I thought that kind of meant something. But now I really have no idea. Like... Is there, God, when we die, is there like a vampire heaven? Is is there a werewolf heaven? Like, like what does all this mean? Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm desperate for answers. Well, that's, I, I want to talk to you real quick about something you just said. I'm not trying to change the subject, I promise you. But you just said you're not your own person. Right. Can you clarify that for me? I thought I understood where I was in the world, and I feel like that's been taken from me. Okay. That makes sense. Like I said, having your worldview change so drastically without question is traumatic. And frankly, having an existential crisis right now is probably the most sane thing you could do. How do you feel about all this? Well, if I was charging you and I was actually being your therapist, I'd say right now, well, we're talking about you. But since I'm not your therapist, I'm scared shitless. Right? I feel terrified about literally everything every time I leave my hotel room. And I also feel incredibly guilty about all this. Should I be the therapist now? No, no. Like, coping... Here's the trick about therapy. A lot of people seem to sign up for therapy with this understanding that, oh, I'll go to therapy for, like, three months, I'll learn to stop hating my mom, and then all my problems will be solved. Oh, Says That's Vic, realizing not... that that fits what he does. <laughs> <laughs> and what most people don't understand is that doesn't happen. What really happens is you learn to cope and survive. And therapy gives you the skills to do that. Huh. And... I'm not going to tell you right now that everything's great and you, we have nothing to worry about and that everything's going to go back to normal. Because the truth is, it's not going to go back to normal. That's... I can't agree more. And what you have to do, what I'm trying to do, and what... And I imagine the reason you want to do this is... You want to learn how to make that okay. Yeah. Okay. So, let's start off with getting rid of the idea of what's normal. <clears throat> While all of you have been going about town or having sort of conversations with one another and, and trying to understand what you've been through, JD, you have been at the trailer park <clears throat> with Charlie Going through your notes. Yes. So um, how about you provide me with a little more specifics about what's in your notes? Um, he's just got a, a, a not, not a big collection, but it's like a few folders and binders full of just like, JD is, was minorly interested in the paranormal beforehand. And so he has like a, a like a 
just kind of a file of different events that were like, you know, in the news or whatever about paranormal events taking place in real life. And so he collected some of those and now he just kind of wants to try to see if any of the things reported in those are like real things. Okay. Sure. Yeah, let me let me make some rolls for him. And I do have like the I do have like the one point advanced library for the paranormal. This should be something he has as a general thing. All right. <laughs> well, uh, you you really got some stuff here. I gotta say. I mean, obviously you can't believe everything you read in the newspapers. Well, yes. But um, yeah, there's this one here about. Uh, what was it? The the gas main breaking and, and you had sort of a question mark and underline here and you know, I think you're on to something. It it definitely that sounds like mages to me. Uh, that kind of combustion is, is highly unusual and uh it's not super common for uh for other creatures to do that kind of thing. So like mages and just like magic. Oh uh, mages can do and anything. Fire from the fingertips and they can do all kinds of stuff. All I, of that. I once what scared me shitless, the reason I don't I don't mess with them anymore, is I saw one actually freeze time and walk around and then start it moving again. The oh, hair stood up on my whole back. Man, I was scared shitless. Do not ever fuck with the mages if you can help it. Noted. <laughs> uh, angels and demons? That's... Is that a... <laughs> I, I I don't know no, about no that. No clue. Okay. <laughs> I grew up on the weird. reservation, man. They don't. We don't really know much <laughs> about the big world. Uh, shapeshifters. Oh, like definitely that. that. I okay, mean. Okay, that's real. Uh, I mean, I shapeshift. Good to so. know. So it's got to be possible for other people I to do guess. it. Things like elves. Is that a thing? <laughs> Immortals are so cute. <laughs> okay, well, you gotta understand, uh, this stuff was all not real until um, just a little bit ago. And, uh, you know, mine's a little bit more open to that now. All right, now, now I'll give you fairies, I'll give you. But elves, oh, fairies. <laughs> that's just Fairies ri- that does exist. Okay. Elves, that's so just that's ridiculous. A, that's a thing. <laughs> but, like, dragons. Dragons a thing? So. Not that I've ever seen. Okay. <laughs> Zombies. Definitely yes. Um, okay, definitely yes. Okay, that's a. Uh, I hunted a few of them myself. To say the least. I love the way their skulls crunch in the jaw. <laughs> okay. Didn't need that level of detail. <laughs> but uh, how about uh, like, a, like a leprechauns? Is that a thing? I ain't never like been little, to Ireland. Ma- okay. I'll put another question mark there. <laughs> um, I'll guess there'll be another question mark on the Loch Ness monster. Then you can't huh? say I ever okay, seen one. Question mark. Uh, to listen, son. He puts <laughs> his he sort of puts his hand on the table over the notebook. He's like, "Let me ask you a question. Do you really think any of this is gonna help?" I mean, it'll help me be a little bit more mentally prepared to know that that well, yeah, that's a thing. <clears throat> well, all right, but listen. You're like a tiny little bunny rabbit. And the whole rest of the world are big wolves like me coming to eat you. You really think a fancy notebook, even if you got all the right stuff in it, is really going to help you? Well, it'll let me know when to run. You always got an answer (laughs) for everything, don't you, kid? That's the idea. (laughs) All right, well... I'm gonna go in for the night, and uh, and indeed, as you look around, you see it's uh, the sun's gone low yeah. in the sky. It's gotten late, and uh, he's been very obliging going through all this with yeah. you all day. And... Well, I was gonna ask him one more thing: is with the vampires specifically? Oh, that's he... right. And he sort of turns around and sticks his hand <clears throat> in his pocket. He's sort of silhouetted by the light coming from inside the camper, and he's mm-hmm. looking at you. All right, I'm gonna tell you something I shouldn't tell you. You don't want to get bit by the same one more than three times. No, noted. Very noted. Did that have anything to do with... He looked at me. 
And I felt something, and then I was, like, across the room the next moment. He, he looks at you real close. I, like, lost a few seconds and was across the room. And his face kind of softens, like he has a little bit of sympathy for you. And he goes, You willing to try something? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> It'll give you some Where? answers. Hold on. Yes. <laughs> All right. And he looks in your eyes. And the same feeling comes over you. Although mm. this time you are aware of what's happening. And you don't hear any mm. voices. You just feel the presence of a mind influencing you. And your hand, previously at loose on the table, sort of rises and gives a peace sign. And then you're released. And I'm, and I'm not doing that, obviously. Well, when you come to yourself, your hand yeah. is in that position, but you, okay. you, you distinctly remember you did not move it there of your own volition. And he okay. goes, was it kind of like that? Yeah, I kind of like that. <laughs> so werewolves can do that too, apparently. Well, most anything can do it, provided their mind mm-hmm. is stronger than yours. Okay, well... You, you really ought to get some weird. defenses or something. <laughs> Do they have fetishes in, in, in your world? Uh, I assume you mean something different by that. What do you... What, he, he sort of... Sex stuff, Charlie. Sex stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, it, it ain't <laughs> anything... That's what that word means. It ain't anything bad or nothing. And he pulls a necklace out <laughs> from a, around his... Or he pulls a string from around his neck and it, it dangles a sort of tangled amalgamation of stones and mm-hmm. feathers... And, and twine, and he's mm. like, you know, a fetish, something powerful with with a spirit in it. I mean, not 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 that I know. That's not a thing that we just like have. Well, then you really ought to get yourself <laughs> one. If you okay. caught the eye of a vampire that can do that to you, <clears throat> your mind needs protection. And then, right after, he, he picked me up by my throat, and I hit him in the head with a bat. No, I hit him in the head with a bat, and then he picked me up by the throat. But I hit him Wait, in the head with a bat, the bat and, and 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 then and then it looked like he got m- real mad, and his eyes went like blank. Well, that and sounds that like a thing. fetish to me. You got it on you? Uh, yeah, and I go to the to the to the van where I probably mm-hmm. left it because I didn't want to bring a weapon to the werewolf place, <laughs> and I bring it out and I bring it to him. And he holds it in his hand, and he's like, and and it, he sort of flinches when it first touches him. Uh, and uh, he he starts to turn a little bit green, and kind of nauseous, and he sort of hands it back to you real fast. Okay. And he goes, "That's really something." And uh, just looks at the bat, kind of confused. He he looks at the bat and he looks up at you, and even though it, it repels him, he has a sort of like look of wonder and a smirk on his face, and he goes, "That right there is a genuine beam from the Tower of Babel." I heard about that when I was just a pup. That is so cool. Oh, 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 what? Wow. <laughs> There's legends about that going back almost as far as my kind go. There's four oh. of them in the in the world that have been carved into objects of power. I don't know where you got that, son, but you better look after that. Uh, Pope's face is going nuts right now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm going bananas <laughs> right now. <laughs> That, if the legends are true, son, that bat will let you understand any language spoken to you. Okay. And based (laughs) on what it just did to me, it'll hurt anything more powerful than you real bad. Okay. I will uh, hold on to it. (laughs) And uh, with that, I will give you, since he just passed an identify on that object and he has specialty in Mm -hmm. totems, Oh, uh, he, I will give you the relic sheet for the Slugger of Babel. <laughs> <laughs> I love it! Best name. Slugger of Babel. The Slugger of Babel. So that is your relic that you spent all your cash at Character Create to get. Uh, it's actually on the same page as some of the other relics, so I'm going to have to write it up for you separate. Uh, 
Okay. But basically, it's forged from the east-facing beam of the Tower of Babel. It has the curious ability to project the meaning of any language directly into the user's mind. Using this ability in excess of 10 minutes causes a resolve composure check every five minutes that escalates by one die. And if you use it for too long, you get escalating uh, status effects. Distracted, disoriented, migraine, unconscious. If you swing it against any dread creature, it inflicts the same condition, or it inflicts... It inflicts a condition from that list, distracted, disoriented, migraine, or unconscious, of the touched creature if they fail a resolve composure check. And otherwise, it deals the same physical damage as a blunt melee weapon. It breaks automatically after three hits. (coughs) Okay. There you go. And at that, uh, the rest of the party sort of... um, well, I suppose, where are you? Yeah, where are Darla no, and Mason going? We, we, we have a ritual to perform. So where are you going to perform the ritual? In the Isles yeah. of Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's in the back room of Walmart, and we're going to sneak it out. I'm joking. Um, I guess maybe at the hotel, I guess, because that's really the only sort of enclosed place that, that, that huh. we... Can we watch? Would I know a nice secluded place in the woods? Right, no. Not but when here. it's getting late. Yeah, Darla's not going to let you take her into a secluded <laughs> place in the woods. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you. Not right now. Uh, I we have a minute of that one. I know a lot of nice secluded places in the woods. So <laughs> uh, you all go to the hotel. Yeah, yes. I'm assuming. I, I feel like I would have um, bought maybe, because I knew I was going to have to write out a pentagram, so maybe like. Maybe like a, some chalk or something that I can. Just yeah, like you're, you're oh. able to, to chalk onto the the sort of low pile carpet floor a little awkwardly, but you we, you do maybe the bathroom. Right. Yeah, let's use the bathroom. All right, it's it's very small. Okay. Um, one of you will have to sit in the little sectioned off shower, uh, while the other one sits on the toilet. But there is a little space in front of the sink where you can draw a pentagram between the two of you. Okay, and then I, on the shower. Yeah, yeah, you can get in the shower. <laughs> um, Vic pokes his head in and is just like right as the candles are lit and the and the lights go. I was like. What are you doing? Do you mind if I roll on this? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, okay, I'm going to set the camera up so that I can watch this. Okay. Uh, so what What does the article that I'm referencing describe the ritual as? It's a, it's a ritual of spiritual connection. And all it's meant to do is simply to aid the user in feeling connected to the energies around them. Okay. And so what does it instruct me to do? Well, it says to draw the pentagram counterclockwise and then clockwise from the top, form the different lines of the star in the middle. It has a very specific order that you follow carefully. And then to place the candles at the intersections and points of the of the pentagram. Since you only bought five candles, you sort of hope that the points are good enough. Yeah, uh, she just sort of quietly whispers, I'm sorry to Jesus before she puts it down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jesus. And it uh, describes that you should start lighting the candles from the eastmost candle around. So you'll have to determine where <laughs> east is. Hey, hey, Mason, do you know which way east is? Yeah, sure. <laughs> what do you want? Do you just want me to know or just, do you want me to do something for this? Compass app on your phone. Yeah. It takes you all a few minutes, but between you, you figure out where east is. <laughs> and uh, you start lighting the candles. Uh, does it have an incantation I need to, to say? It, or? it simply says to vocalize your emotional feelings, reaffirm your, your sense of well-being and connection, and to simply feel the spiritual energy. Okay. It's delightfully vague. Uh, so I sit on the toilet and I <laughs> sit, sit down. Uh, and I, I sort of uh, meditate, I guess, for a second. And I just say... So I just really want to know if I'm a witch. <laughs> please, please help me understand my abilities and possible witchcraft. Make make an unseen sense roll, I guess, or an eye for the strange roll. I'm really unseen sense for the shit. So I, did I get most of that information from Charlie? Yeah. It just, that this is what this is. Yeah, yeah. you. Uh, I, I will. I will reveal for the listeners' benefit. Charlie <laughs> has a lot of know-how in the in the magical mm-hmm. objects area, and he's able to give you quite a bit of info. Uh, do you just want me to do straight up eye for the strange, or is it eye for the strange? Just eye for the strange. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got and three for unseen sense. Right. And on that, that's a total of three uses. Yes. <clears throat> okay. You've already expended one. Yeah, yes. and he's expended one. Um. So buckle. I got two. All right. Two successes. 
So, um, Mason, for your three successes, uh, this is bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Darla, for your two successes, at first it feels really strange and you feel very much like you're being watched and, and it's weird. You have, you know, Mason who's very intently watching you and a camera on top of the sink trained on your face and Vic's leaning on the doorway all excited, waiting for something cool to happen and you're all just sitting there. But you push past it because you really want to know. And uh, it is very serene. You sort of breathe in and you breathe out and you stare in the candles and the flickering sort of becomes mesmerizing. And the whole atmosphere, you suddenly kind of feel this warm sense of, of the, the energies around you, the people around you, their will for, for this to work for you. And, you know, you feel so alive. But nothing happens. <laughs> well, that was good for me. I don't know what uh, was was like for you boys, but not what I was expecting. But I'm glad it worked you out. From the bathroom, nothing, <laughs> nothing happened. <laughs> <Keep it inside laughs> well, I, I had a great time. Yeah, yeah. No, I feel. Uh... Vic, do you like that? <laughs> nothing happened. <laughs> not really. Nothing. I. No, nothing happened. I you just said. I that. felt a little something. Oh, right. I, what did you gotcha. feel? Yeah, I, I felt something, too. Yeah. Was it like a calm, serene presence I, on the inside that I, just warmed you I, from I your think toes up? It was more like hunger. I'm going to the vending machine. You I, guys want anything? I think somebody was just Can selling... Can I have a Pepsi? <laughs> I think somebody was just selling you meditation, sweetie. We're going to have to try harder next time. I mean... I mean, meditation is a good thing. Uh, people people swear by it, you know, and they eat sure. that kale and that quinoa <laughs> sure. and then they make that into a hey, salad. I'll be right back. Yeah. Uh, can I go look for the holy water and start filling up the Nerf guns or <laughs> yeah, the, sure. the little squirt bottles? So, uh, yeah. JD would also like to go buy an outdoor store or, I guess, the Walmart and get a machete on the way back because okay. he doesn't want to break the bat. So you start, you know, the, the moment passes, you blow out the candles, Vic goes to the vending machine, Mason starts filling up the squirt guns, and uh, JD, uh, without the benefit of the van, mm -hmm. since Darla mm -hmm. and Mason did not go and pick him up, ends up sort of walking on the, the dark path alone. What? Back what? To, oh, that was a bad idea. I back didn't... to the motel. I thought we had a, a plan for you. No. He's with Charlie. He mm -hmm. stayed with Charlie. Yeah. Uh, so oh, and, and uh, you you try to you decide to make a detour to get a machete uh, on the way to Walmart, but it does require you to walk to through the the remote sort of dark roads uh, leading to this trailer you park in a small town. Have our phone numbers if we forgot you. That's true. So you're walking along and you know that you weren't supposed to be alone and it does seem like a really bad place to be right now, but you shrug it off and you think whatever. It's all right. I just have to get to the store, you know, and, and buy a machete. I'll feel better with a weapon. And as you're walking down the road, you feel a sense like you're being watched, and it's very unsettling, and you push it back. You keep going. Walk a little faster. Walk a little faster. <laughs> you turn a left onto the main road where there's at least a sidewalk, and you feel pretty safe now. You continue, and you walk on, and you realize, wow, this is kind of a long way. And just when you think that maybe you're, you're out of the woods, you can see the lights of the big superstore up ahead. In the, uh, in the brush to the left of this sidewalk, you hear a crack, and you have just enough time to look as you hear something above you, the rustling of fabric, a figure dropping down. You catch just enough moments to see a familiar face before you hear, hello, darling, and you're knocked out. And that's where we'll end for today. No! Oh my god! No, you, <laughs> fucked you fucked up! You fucked up! You fucked up! Fantastic! Oh, he's gonna feast on your butt hole! We fucked up! <laughs>Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell is created and produced by Buckle Nagel and Stephen Pope. The players are Garrett Schmigel as Vic, Deanna Venable as Darla, Michael Morris as JD, Stephen Pope as James Wolfe, and John Tompkins as Mason, with Buckle Nagel running the game. Hunter the Vigil 2nd Edition is produced and published by Onyx Path Publishing. Find us online at Uncanny Show on Twitter and www.uncannyvalleyshow.com. Make sure you check out Wild Cards, Experience Pointers, and other Saving Throw Show productions on the Saving Throw Network. And hey, have a good night. <laughs>